just answering a set of questions on the channel. Uh, here we go. Of course, there are different sects in Islam with different types of Muslims, too. We have different types of Christians who don't believe or support the same as different sects. Then there's the reality that there are assholes and lunatics and fanatics, oh my, everywhere from all kinds of backgrounds, in any area, I should add. It's not just one group of various clustered groups. There literally are unwell people in every grouping of people. Some are just dumb enough to take out their hatred and anger on others because of reasons. Insert reason doesn't make any sense and doesn't need to. Just as I don't think every American wants to shoot me, I'm pretty sure some from various backgrounds would, but only a minority of them. And it's going to be the crazy effed up ones. There will be some certain Christians that would spaz out if they saw the depiction of Jesus as black. Yet there will be some Christians who decided that's the only way to depict him. <clears throat> and you know what I mean by this. Racism, too, gets drawn into xenophobic domain when showing something religious to some, to some that doesn't agree with someone else's preferred leanings. Why do Christians, not all, just the majority, depict only de depict and only want to see Jesus as a long-haired white man with a European Caucasian appearance? And they would object if display Jesus as a dark-skinned Middle Eastern guy that looks Arabic, but with the wiry black curly hair that we see mostly dominates region and demographics of that location during the time he would have been there. <coughs> Besides some stories twisted and passed down through the multiple mistaken translations into different languages, was there even a Jesus? Was Muhammad ever really a real person? Are there just stories, children's tales, that people believe wholeheartedly because they're told to do so? I don't do as I'm told. I think first. Or at least I like to think I do. Wink. <coughs> I'm going to address this really quickly. <coughs> Many cultures rejected the idea that God created us in, their, in his image and didn't make me look like them. Everyone in Europe decided that God's only begotten son had to look like them. Because by definition, if you say humans were created in the image of a God and you don't look like the image you're presented, that inherently means that you're not the preferred appearance. And every single culture, not just the European Union type people. <laughs> Many cultures refused to accept anybody showing up saying, you have to worship our belief systems. It didn't matter if they threatened to kill them. If you made sure that they were always tacitly assumed not to be created in the image of God. We all look the same once you rip our skin off. And that's what, you know, it's just skin deep. That sounds gruesome, but it's real. Internally, we're all very, very similar. We're almost identical. In fact, <coughs> without genetic testing, none of us are going to be distinguishable from another if somebody later off in time digs us up out, out of uh, some basalt layer or whatever. It wouldn't be basalt, by the way. It would be sedimentary rock. Um, just like we don't know the plumage or color patterns of dinosaurs. Because we don't really know their colors. So we guess. Maybe they thought it was very important. I'm sure they did. Well, I'm the pretty blue one. <laughs> and that's kind of where I go with this. You also have to understand that most of this history is the best we can do for history. And also it should be pointed out that most of what we're told about what we're supposed to believe is heavily filtered. You can find, without anybody really being able to argue that you're wrong, a bunch of older works that were originally part of Christianity that were thrown aside because they didn't like what it meant. So, this is a good comment. There's not much to it. There shouldn't be. It's a pretty basic question. Yes, there's probably somebody, one person, who is the main thing that was used as the model for the mythology for Jesus. And lots of people named Jesus. There's plenty of them in Mexico. As for Muhammad, it's traditional in Islam to name your kid Muhammad in some cases. So, <clears throat> just because it was a very common name, or it should be, was there Muhammad? Yeah. Odds are, but that's neither here nor there. What these people looked like and people arguing over it does seem oversensitivity on the part of people who are doing most of the yelling and screaming. Yeah, it's an interesting comment. I just thought I'd respond to it. 
Mostly because I don't have much to discuss today. I've had a bunch of questions on one channel. And I, I managed to get most of it addressed in one video. I'm amazed. And yes, it's somebody bringing up something I'd already covered a dozen times because they don't like the answer. And some of them like the answer, but they wanted to correct me because I would, you know, a little off. That was worth it. That was had some merit. The other people just saying, I want you to explain it again because they don't like the answer. Whatever. But in this case, it's a person pointing out something I've said and everybody else has said. Unless you're part of a group, you're going to question the assertions of a group. And that's going to make them mad because they don't want to have the answers in many cases. If you're afraid of the answers, it's not okay. And now I'm going to go off on science. <coughs> While it's technically true or technically legal, the best kind of true or legal, in science to say one thing or another is accurately stated correctly and all that, it does get in the way of us being able to communicate about some subjects when we're a little too precise about things. I'm all for precision. I'm all for accuracy. Be careful what you ask for. And when a person screams at the top of their lungs that the Bible has no errors when you can point out a dozen of them off the top of your head, they're begging for that kind of outrage they're going to have. Same thing with history. We're humans. We are fallible. And claiming infallibility by claiming it's of God or of the ancients who were ignorant in most cases is always a big pitfall. Now, there's no God backing up your assertion out there, guys and gals. And I do appreciate this comment. I like it when people post a reasonable, rational comment, and I will feature it sometimes. Crazy concept, huh? Anyway, thank you for the comment. I do appreciate it. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that.